hello this is LP for this capture and I'm go through uh, how to create a SSL sales create in uh, Ubuntu 18 or 17 okay to start with um, there is a, a fair bit of material online for example this site uh, you can do this in your Ubuntu and uh, you can follow on the basic uh, the on the steps here but I do a little, little bit shortcut. I don't do some of this, so I don't do the uh, D D uh, D three D S three. And then I'm um, now I'm start from here. But before from start from here, um, I got to work on the uh, the server a little bit. So when your uh, if your SSS not install, of course you need to do apt and then install open SSL. Yeah. So uh, and then when you're done, um, when you're done, you can just enable them if you want to. Okay, so when you enable, uh, example, you got nothing now. Uh, if you have not installed, right? So apt install open SSL. So if you're done already, that's fine. Okay, uh, so when you've done that, and then go into enable them. Um, what is the command? Uh, enable mode and SSL. So you've done that run okay so I already run so it's fine so what I'm going to do now is the, um, uh, we start the, the service so the command I copy from this website as well so you can do a nicely copy so I just re, re um, update them so you can just restart if you wish to there we go Okay, don't worry about the full uh, qualified domain name. Now you can do check it out using nmap or nest that. And um, if you don't have an nmap, you can just do a nmap, uh, sorry, install nmap. Of course, you have, to have, you have to have internet for this site, of course. Okay, when you have an nmap, uh, do the basic one localhost. So um, I believe I have 443 now. Now 443 is run. Okay, next steps. What do I do? I'm um, got to go to the point now. So that what I now um, your configuration will be in here, right? So I to make my save it. I'm going to this folder, so I'm staying there, right? So CD to that folder. So basically, you got to do CD to to this folder, right? And then we go there. Okay, his enter. Of course, you go there, but I already inside. Okay, the reason, um, so this is a brand new uh, blank. This is blank. You haven't done anything in here yet. So I just leave the side there. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make a, uh, uh, of course, I'm going to, I, I've done this file, uh, I, I put it outside already, so I just copy and paste them in there. Just make my life a bit easy with minimum top in issue. So I generate that with the other key. And then I'm going to create a CRT file. So make sure that the test there, you're going to put down here again, and this is a new output. Yeah, that's a new output, yeah. CR, CSR. Okay, uh, I'm going to make a U for example. State New South Well, uh, CD Sisney. Uh, example and whatever unit that you want to be um, I put test example and the full qualified domain name I tend to make for this domain name email address I just do example of course and password I don't put anything if you put something here every single time you restore your Apache you have to um, Put the password there so in case your server shut down or you do remote shutdown uh some i, I mean the automation shutdown reboot again you may the your apache will not run because it's waiting for you to to input directly from the keyboard so I try to avoid if you if you can but if you really need them go ahead so i don't put anything here so the common name um put anything i don't put anything there now okay so that is my uh i just done the csr but you can find out what CSR later. 
on you know Google it. Okay, so now I'm going to make a CTR. So for this one, I'm going to make a C CRT. That's important. If you if you do the live research, I mean if you pay some provider online, they will issue they will give you this file after you do registration and pay them. Okay, so now I just have that file copy in. Okay, what I'm doing here, uh, you figured out what is this online. So basically, I can explain here that the days I put two years here. So 365 is one year, so I put both. Uh, what about two years there? I'll show you that two years later. Okay, so that's very much done. So I will put that this three statement online for you. I mean, under right under this uh, video when I post online. So I will put these three if you want to copy them. Okay, now uh, you need to locate these two files, right? So the file name is uh, whatever there, and right now I'm in this folder. Remember, that's the absolute path. So I just copy for now. And now I'm going. You're going to go on this side, the site available. So I'm already in there. Now I got to download that file and edit them. So remember, I'm already inside here. Yeah? So I have two new files. That's that. That's what I need, and this one I need. So now I'm going to download. No, no, the default here. That's that's the default site. Okay. Uh, if you wish, you can just change here if you like it. But that's a, in the real environment. But in here, we just do a fake one, not a fake, but a real one. <laughs> okay. Uh, we leave. We keep the default uh, location for the for this main the first route. Okay. Pam is similar to whatever the C C R T there. Okay, if you don't want to make a backup of this file, you can just do copy them here, Control K. So Control K, Control U. I think I messed up somewhere. Yeah, that's right. So now I'm stay here, Control K, U, U. So U is this here, yeah, uncut. So in case when you restart your Apache, it's not running due to whatever your typo, and then you come here and fix them. So now I have the location already of what about my file, so I just paste them here, and then this one will be test.crt, and this guy will be similar but going to test.key. That's dot key there. Test.key. So that's that all. That's all you need. Uh, the below here, you don't need to do anything else. All right. Now save them here. Control O, save it. Okay. What next? And then we got to do some checking, right? See whether it's working or not. Uh, see whether our file is looking good. That's okay. Leave it what it is for now. And then we need to restart to apply the new Apache. Okay, now how do we test them? So what is the IP address again? This is my IP address. I'm going to my web server again. See how we go. Okay, it working. Now we're going to check the HTTPS. Mm, something is not right here. Let me find out what's going on with this. Okay, I'm sorry about that. There is a trouble, so I just fix them. I'll show you how to fix them later, right? So that what you had before, when you reload them, they, there is a you know the message what about trouble, and here we go. I just search on the net. This guy give a, a good solution for this one. So if you see this message, please uh, do some search on the internet, and this is one of the, the working solutions. So they use the default one, site default. So that's what I did. Um, so of course here you can click uh, on the advanced. Uh, well, um, my apology for that. At the bottom here you will see the yeah exception. Add them in. Then add, add is okay. Yeah, confirm them. Then I hopefully my certificates will be there. It's not there now. It's not there now because I uh, I changed a little bit. So how to fix them? Yeah. Um, what we do is run that command. 
you know, site not default that's at the top is not right and then site security uh, I bet you to site uh, enable site and then reload them so now I'm going to fix my I just modify something so I just come back and modify put them back so that's my disable them disable them that's what you should have at the beginning right so that's what the original one so I just disable them for now I comment in front and then I put this back all right now I'm save them again hopefully this time it's working so I just restart them reload them no restart I do restart yeah I can go back to here reload them of course advance and then go to the end here and confirm the certificate and now my new certificate will be applied more information uh, there we go two years from today to the 9th of September September and then you can view more certificate here if you wish to that's what we just done before so on the name there that's example two years from today and then the issuer you can see the issuer that the test so that's the basic stuff so there is a fair bit uh, some trouble along the way so basically you need to play around with the certificate uh, do some search again that's the Ubuntu um, running on uh, SSL on Ubuntu and sale creation and if you like to have an SSL on CentOS you can run from there and there is a uh, uh, come out a couple years now uh, this is something that's really good you don't have to pay but you need to do a fair bit on your your own certificate so is it a live it's actual uh, open CA but you can do it in your own but so do some learn from here then it help you how to make your own certificate but valid this is at the moment is invalid for testing only but if you follow the one I just show you that let encrypt then it will be valid as well okay so if you got any question comment put it at the end or or click like if you like it so that's very much for me so i copy this too i put it up there for you so you play around with that thanks for watching bye for now